What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. As always, Spare Woodgun here from Sleepless Nights. Um, when we left off, we had completed. Where did I? Did I park it? I parked it. We completed our little mini driller, uh, which has worked out very well. Um, it is a little hard to control when you're drilling, but you know. Um, so I had a plan for this episode. I was going to make a second ship that had um, solar panels, as you can see down here in my inventory. Um, but I may not do that because I did some... I was thinking... I misread the changelog when they first added those, and I was under the impression that it created uranium. I had no idea how. It didn't really make sense to me at the time anyway. Um, but it was, I was thinking maybe because solar is like radiation that somehow it was refining it into more uranium. So I was thinking it was a power generator and I could like park one up above this asteroid and then like bring the uranium down. So I started researching it just to double check and make sure and sure enough I was not right. Um, basically all it does is actually generates power just in general. Um, so like if I go connect this come here. You'll see that I'm producing the reactor's producing five I don't know if that's mega, megawatts, milli, milliwatts, I don't know. Um, why am I running so weird? Um, okay. So yeah, what? Uh, see, what, what, what's going on here? Why am I running so slow? What is going on? Game is glitching. Game is glitching. Um. So basically, it just generates power without a reactor, is, is the biggest biggest thing. Um, so you could fly out here. Oh, that was a little orb, orb block, I think. And like park it over here where this... Oh, look at that. That is cool. This asteroid is amazing. It's so neat. Um, there's the sun. So you could park it out here facing the sun and you would generate power, right? Um, so the thing was, when I started researching it, you need a lot of panels to do pretty much anything. Um, a small reactor, like on the drill ship here, um, I think it produces five megawatts, kilowatts, gigawatts, uh, whatever the measurement is, I don't know. Um, it produces like five of those though and a small solar panel, so a, one on a small ship, I think generates 1.5 or something like that. Um, I could be wrong because I looked at a lot of different numbers and some were... Solar panels also have a efficiency, like how angled at the sun they are, and so there's a max and a minimum. So the 1.5 might have been the minimum, I don't remember. Um, I know that they always do less than a, a small reactor, like one panel to one reactor. The reactor will always do more. I, I did, I did remember that part. Um, so, like, we're powering this whole ship off of one, right? Um, and the refinery, I think, is like at fifty-three or fifty-eight or something um, at uh, operation like when it's running like it's running right now so it's using like 58 uh, megawatts or kilowatts or whatever um, and I think one solar panel on a large ship it has a max produci production production of like six don't quote me on that go look it up yourselves because I don't remember the exact numbers it's on the space engineers wiki though so I think it only produces like six or something and, um, so I read on a forum somewhere that somebody had to use, like, 102 large solar panels to power a refinery and stuff like that. So they're not, like, an efficient end-all... It's it's not like the uh, Minecraft Feed the Beast that we used to do, um, where, you know, we had, like, the advanced and super advanced solar panels and then, like, one would power your whole base kind of thing. Not like that. Not that efficient. Um, oh, look. Ore. Ore's been floating away. Um, I think this was a product of the drilling. That as I was drilling, some some float, floated away. So, I'm gonna have to rework that design. Like, I don't think... 
that's a viable solution, if you will. Does this need to be fixed? It's dented. It does. What do you know about that? It was sitting there the whole time, didn't even notice. Um... So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to actually use that or not yet, because just having... I was thinking of putting them on, like, this guy and just putting, like, one on each side, but I don't think that would actually do anything, really. Um, other than just give me a... The only thing I could see it doing if you just had a little small ship like this with two solar panels on it or something would be for life support. Like, if this ran out of power... This ran out of power, and your 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 life support system is all but gone. You could jump in it and let your let the solar panel recharge. At the moment, I'm not too worried about it because we've got quite a bit of uranium pockets in this little asteroid belt, and I've got a good amount in both ships, so I'm not really worried about the life support thing. But I could see that as a viable if you had like one or two. Um, some of you might recognize this, though. I'm starting to work on a beacon. But you need a lot of crap to work on this beacon. So what I may do is use what I have in the assembler. Um, because I was building a small ship and solar panel components. I might take some of these components. Um, and basically just use them for this beacon thing. So that we have an actual system for when we leave. Being able to come back and find the ship. Uh, one other cool thing I found was... You can access the production tab if the assembler is close to the refinery, so um, if you've clicked all these buttons or you've clicked all these buttons, so this is what I have in my queue. Um, if you... Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, if you uh, don't hover over anything and you just let it idle, it'll tell you what this whole queue needs. So I need more nickel, but I'm done with the platinum. So now I can go back to the refinery inventory and switch out platinum for nickel type of thing. Let's put this in front of the uranium. Now when you go back to production, you'll see it's making more nickel. So that's pretty neat. It's fairly useful. Um, this is basically... This this thing right here... Side note, why are all the animations so slow? Check this out. Is it always like that? I thought it was faster than that. Is my walking animation still weird, I wonder? Yeah, let's see how slow everything is? What's going on? I have no idea what that's about. It's like everything's running in slow motion except the, the rest of the game. It's just... Okay, so what else do I need here? 40 radio communication somethings. I don't think I've made any of those. Large steel tubes, small steel tubes. Gosh, this takes. This is gonna take very. Large ships suck. Oh, there we go. No. No. So if I run this way, it's somewhat normal. If I go this way, everything. Oh my gosh, I don't know what. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Glitching. Now the only thing that I don't like is if you click on these individual parts and it adds everything to the queue. For some reason, they're all individuals. Like, you see how pipe, pipe, plate, plate, you know, like, they're not all in the same place, which is kind of strange to me. Um, I think I had some of those, oh, I had one, one steel plate, let's grab this stuff. What do I need for these radio community? Iron and silicon. Gosh, and I need 40 of those? It's just gonna be insane! Um, I could click... Oh, look at that! Oh, that's not actually that bad. I need 4,000 iron. Roughly. And 21 silicon. That's pretty intense, not gonna lie. Unfortunately, it's not accurate because... There's other components that I've already built that I can use. Like, see all this stuff? Um, oh, I'm in the assembler inventory. Give me the steel plates. 
these, 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 these. Let's see what I can do. Oh, I can do it from standing. No. Can do it from standing here. Alright, so I got the computer components in place. Okay. I'm gonna need four more plates, which I probably have in the queue somewhere. Oh no, the queue's empty. Never mind. I knew that. Um, refinery. I need to see what the refinery is doing. Let's grab you. Let's get my iron going. And let's put silicon next, because we're going to need a lot of silicon, I think. I think I already had enough gold to, to just straight up make another... Um, another one. Oh, and we'll put these computer components away, because apparently I already used all those that I needed. A uh, large ship. So gold... I already have enough silicon, I don't know yet because I don't know what all I need to use, and iron is just going to be a crap load, but I don't know I don't know how much iron I need left, so I need three plates. Okay. Wait! I only need three! Okay, here's a question. Here, here's something we need to look up. What all do I need? Tubes to construction, plate, plate, computer, radio. So basically... I already did the computers. Is it saying I have seven in my inventory? Or have I already put this... Oh, I've already put them in there. So I need I had seven to... 26. So I only need four and then ten. So 14 more construction components. 41 steel plates. 40 radio components. Alright. So let's start building our queue here. Uh, plates. I wonder... Um, I guess we'll just... There's five... Okay, let's just grab these. And these. Um, and that. Radio. Okay, I'm out of iron. This requires silicon and iron. We need 40 of these. I don't know if there's a way to type in the number, but it doesn't seem like it, so we're just gonna do it that way. And I have one more of these. Alright, let's... Come on. Come on. Alright, so I need three construction components. Let's go ahead and do that while it's stuck on the iron. Uh, three... Of those. Now what is... Okay, we've got enough silicon now. But it's fine, we'll just let it go. Um, need 58 small steel tubes. Man, that's a lot. Just kind of spamming my mouse key. 58 of those. Uh, 40, so... 31 of the large steel tubes. Oh, and I need to add ten more construction components. Why did I say thirty-one of the tubes? One, 
need... Wait a minute. I have three queued up. It finishes that. So yeah, 13... No. 13 total. So I need to just add 10 more. Okay. And... What else do I need? Steel plates. I need 7 to make 20, so... 27. The steel plates. There's 4 there, so... 3... Wait, what? Why wouldn't you just... Oh, whatever. It makes 7. Now 20. So 23 in this pile. Alright, what am I looking at? Got enough silicon, I need 2,250 iron. Let's get to the gr the, uh, the drill ship here. And we'll just grab from here. It's close, why not? Me. And I have found, I know I mentioned this in the last episode, or I think I mentioned it in the last episode, I hope I did. Whoa, getting a little torque top heavy there. Um, I have found that kind of just letting this drill do its thing sometimes can be more efficient because you don't go, you move around, uh, but you don't like get tipped over or anything because it's just kind of, it reminds me of a of a floor buffer. If any of you have ever seen like when somebody buffs a floor with one of those automated ones, and it looks really easy, but if you actually let it go, it just kind of goes crazy. Kind of reminds me of that. At some point, I need to make a better ship that's more. It's got a bit more mass to it, so it won't kind of go all over the place. Um. Oh, and somebody mentioned in my comment section also that you can see from the uh, blah, blah, blah. you can see the drills inventory um, from oh, there we go now we're doing good from the cockpit which is true um, so like from here if I hit K while I'm in the cockpit you can tab over to inventory and you'll see the small reactor the two cargo crates and the drill. Um, and I haven't quite figured out the ratio... Whoa. Um, the ratio for... How much ore you need for how many ingots yet. Um, I'm kind of doing a one-to-one -one at the moment just to be safe, but I don't really remember how much you need. Two thousand... I think I needed, like, 2.2, .2, roughly, if my... Math is right on how many ores I need. So yeah, I got really lucky with this asteroid because it's got a crap load of ore everywhere. That should be good enough. Um, so let's bring this back. Ooh. Bring her in. I don't know where I'm at. And... Dock. Off. Out. Just like that. It is just that easy, folks. I still do not know why everything is being so glitchy today. Um, I do need the refinery, though. Um, let's put... oops. Okay. Um, and I'm basically just gonna grab all this, and if I get extra, I get extra, I don't care still be good for me because I can always use more iron. I don't know 
why everything is working is like the physics and stuff is being all weird today. It's all slow. It was fine before I started recording, and then when I started, it just got really weird all of a sudden. All right, so let's see how that that ends up doing. And you'll see this is the total that it needs, and this is um, this is what you have currently. So I've got way more silicon for this project, but I still don't have enough iron. Oh, inventory's full. I've got to fix. Stop it! Are you being all funky? All right, so I've got to take stuff out of the inventory here. Um, let's actually get this stuff out of the way. I really don't need it. It was actually for the solar panel project thing that I'm not doing right now. Okay. So now it'll be going just as it gets more iron and everything. Wait, what? Why does it keep turning off? How is the inventory full? Oh! These things just take up a crap ton of volume, apparently. Good to know. Oh, and I need more construction components. But I can't build those. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can. Why can't I take more? Oh, because they're 280 a pop. Holy crap. Okay, this is annoying. So... I needed 29 more of those. Because that's not irritating or anything. Yeah, basically, if you didn't figure that out, these take up so much volume that it was it's filling up the um, inventory for the um, for the assembler, and it won't let me do anything until I get more of those. So basically, I need one of these every time I want to add more of these radio communicators at the moment. Wait for it! Come on! Okay, good. Now I need small steel tubes. At least these will go a bit faster. <laughs> bing, bing. All right, so I think I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna wait till this is done, and then I'll come back and we'll finish up the beacon and end this episode. So I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Um, everything's done except for the radio components because, well, it just fills up so much crap and can't do it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this part. I've got the steel tubes, they're just in the storage crate because, um, again, they're big components. So you can only carry like a few at a time. What is going on right now? Why am I at six frames? What the heck? 30? 10. 30. Ten. I don't understand how this game is optimized sometimes, because this is 30. It's like the same thing. I don't get that. I mean, I know the game's still on alpha and everything, so they're probably still, you know, working out the bugs and optimizations and all that kind of stuff, but it's still just kind of weird sometimes. Especially like if everyone's seeing this slow motion animation thing that's going on. Look at this. Like, you can tell, you can tell by the sound that it's off. I just don't understand why. So, who knows? Who knows? Not I. I do not know. Um, so 
So let's grab what ones we can in here. Where? Come on, grab it. Alright, so I think it's all just the communication rods or what are these anyway? Radio communication components. Kind of funny. We're gonna do this like two at a time. Bing. <laughs> I wish there was a a better way to do this. Now I'm sure you could actually do it as a um. What am I thinking? Oh, um. Put this thing here next to a crate like this and it would just dump it into the crate and then you wouldn't have to... Um, the assembler could build as it wanted basically, like it wouldn't have to do it individually is where I was going with that. Alright, two more. And... Yay! Back to welding. Oh look, the beacon's on! Woohoo! Oops. How awesome is that? Now, I'm gonna rename this to where it's the, um... Uh, what was the name I was calling this ship? Betsy? I think. Yeah, I really love how they did this system of having to get all the components and then welding it all together. That's so cool. Alright. So we now have a fully functioning beacon. Which is awesome. I'm gonna turn my lights off. Yep. Come on. There we go. Do your slow motion run. It's so weird. Okay. Um, beacon. We're gonna name this... USS Betsy. <laughs> oh yeah. That way we know where our ship is. Oh, also you might have noticed I turned off my thrusters. Um, for efficiency wise. I didn't want the... Didn't want to run out of juice. Um, since I was just idling and not really doing anything. So yeah. Um, I think that'll about... Oh, one more thing. I wanted to mention. Someone in the comments had been asking me about whether or not the heavy blocks... Come on, really? Um, what, what is with the slow-mo stuff? I got iron ore on my ship. <laughs> Mommy, I got iron on my ship. Um, why am I flying so slow? Or moving, just in general. Look at that. It's like all slow-mo and weird. And if any of you are wondering, my frames are actually at 30 while all that's going on, so I don't know why it's doing that. Um, some of you had been asking about, uh, since this is, since Betsy's a large ship and the driller's a small one, would it damage the heavy block or would it even be necessary? And as you can see, it actually does. There's a dent here uh, from where the, this thruster is when I've been taking off. Let's go ahead and fix that. So that it if it were like a regular block, I'm pretty sure it would actually just like destroy it outright. Um, or put a big hole in it. So the heavy block, I've I haven't had to use more iron to repair it, but I have had to repair it every couple of times of taking off. Um, so I hope that answers your questions. Um, yeah, I think that'll about wrap it up for this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I will see you next time. Peace. Oh crap! Oh crap! So, I just realized why I couldn't stand on the ship. Something's got Betsy going backwards. Did it run into anything? I don't know what I did. But something I did made the ship go backwards. So when I jumped on this, if you notice right as I was ending the, the episode, uh, when I landed on this and I was sliding backwards, I wasn't actually sliding, the ship was just moving forward. Okay, so apparently 
we've hit a wall now, so we're we're good. We're stuck. We're good and stuck at the moment. So yeah, uh, again, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace.